Hi, I'm Mike Swanbaum, and right now I'd like to do a mass balance problem. So let's get right started. We have two buckets here, bucket A and bucket B. And with this problem, what we're doing is we're mixing together uh, a certain amount out of bucket A, we don't know how much, and a certain amount out of bucket B, we also don't know how much there. Uh, we do know, however, the uh, composition of water and salt in those two, and what we get at the end is 14.6 pounds of water where we know that can composition. With all these problems, usually the first thing to do, uh, it's the best idea to get started with, is to do a little diagram. And so uh, what I'm going to do here is show that we have two streams going in or two uh, different values going in. Again, we don't know what those are, so we're just going to label them as X and Y. And let's look at, uh, for, for bucket A there, where we're labeling that X, bucket A is 3% weight salt. So we basically say here that that's going to be 0 0.03 salt, which means that it is 0.97 water. Okay, what about Y? Well, for Y, uh, it has 5.4. salt and it has uh, the remainder being water and so the remainder there would be 0.946 and you'll notice there that I'm using just the decimal form rather than trying to do a, uh, a percent basis I find it easier to do it that way because I'm about to plug those into a calculator and that way I can just plug those numbers in uh, directly. All right, and then coming out of the other end of this process, we have 14.6 pounds of 4.4% water. So 14.6 pounds at 0.044, that's salt, which means that we have uh, 0.956 water. All right, so there is our diagram, and it's always best to start with that diagram. Once you have the diagram, then you can start doing uh, balances, and so you can start with any one of the components that you want, or you can do an overall. So what I'm going to do is start with the salt balance. So for the salt balance that we have here, we take the input X and multiply it by the percentage that it is salt, which is, if we express it as a fraction, it's just 0 0.03 plus Y times 0 0.054. This is going to be equal to 14.6 pounds times 0 0.044. All right. So then we move on to the overall balance. The overall balance is fairly simple. All we need to do is look at the entire amount that comes in here, x, and add the entire amount that comes in here, y, say that that is going to be equal to the entire amount that comes out on the other end, 14.6 pounds. All right, so these are two equations and two unknowns. All right, what we do with that is we pull up a calculator uh, and we can punch into this calculator the things that we know. So mode 5 gets us to these equations. The first option you see there is the 2 by 2, and we need to plug in the things that we know. So here we've got 0 0.03, we have 0 0.054, and then on the other side we have 14.6 times 0 0.044. Okay, 
For our other equation, we just have 1, 1, and 14.6. Okay, once we have all those put in there, we can hit equals, and the first value that you see there will be 6.083. and that will be in units of pounds. And if you think about what that was, that was actually our bucket um, A. All right, for our other value, we just hit equals again, and this gives us 8.517 pounds, and that was for bucket B. Now we need to think about which uh, thing we were actually supposed to be trying to find. The original mass of salt water in bucket B was closest to, that would be this value right here, 8.517, and we would answer I. I hope this has been a valuable video, uh, helping you know how to handle uh, a system like this. Uh, if it has, then please give me a like, give me a comment, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one.